dream is to build a hypercar. <laughs> Welcome to our very first episode of Donuts and Donuts, and we have the privilege of having Mr. Alex Troy here for our very first episode. We're gonna go eat some donuts that are um, like local or popular to the neighborhood. We're gonna go do some donuts, and meanwhile, I am gonna ask him some fun and engaging questions. This thing's very green. That's bright green. This is the uh, lizard green, the most popular color that they made in the GT3 RS. So you said you drove one of these before. Yeah. Now this one has a Dundon crack pipe, so it's a really loud exhaust, like the loudest I've ever heard in a Porsche. <laughs> well, maybe not the loudest. I love Dundon exhaust. They do a good job, don't yeah. they? So you've got a good spot in mind for, for both types of donuts. Right? Yeah, all it was right, a cool. Yelp review, but it was, it was a Yelp search. I mean. That's all right, that's all right. Lots of good donuts in, uh, in LA. All right, so question number one, what was life like before YouTube? Like what was your, what was your upbringing, childhood like, if you could sum it up in a minute? Very normal. I grew up in Korea. I uh, moved here in 2009, lived, got the Korean education, came here in uh, end of elementary school, beginning of middle school. Okay. Um, and it was very normal. I lived a very normal life. Okay. Um, very outdoorsy. So if you came here in 2009, you were in sixth grade, that puts you at around 24, 25 years old? I'm 23. All right, I was close. Yeah. yeah. I was close. I just right, turned cool. 23, actually. Um, what was one of your favorite things to do like as, as a kid? Like what was one of your hobbies that you did in your, when you first came here? Riding bicycles. Riding bicycles, yeah, hell yeah. I'm a huge two-wheeled person. I, uh, I've always wanted a dirt bike. My, my parents never let me get, get one until like I was 16 ah, 15. then you got one, hell yeah. My parents didn't even have a car until we were like 9 or 10. So really? bikes were the way of life for me. And, uh, and then we only had one car to share between the six of us. So I biked literally everywhere until I was... Did you have a hill in your neighborhood? Um, all over, not like this place, but there were, there were hills all over and we had dirt paths where we'd go ramp them and do crazy Sick, shit. Sick, yeah. Hills but, are always the greatest nemesis for a bike. Why, why did you guys move from uh, Korea, by the way? What, made, what brought you guys here? Uh, my mother, like, it wasn't really my choice. I, I didn't really care. Like, I feel like when you're young, you just do whatever your parents tell you to do. Yep. Um, and she, my mother just believed that the education was better here. Okay. Do you agree or no? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> You're like, I, I have taken a step back. It was the wrong decision. What made you get on YouTube or what made you realize that that could be a thing? My friend who had like a car spotting YouTube, uh, car spotting Instagram, like made an Instagram for me. Actually, I didn't even, I really didn't even care yeah. about social media at all. And yeah, I just like, I saw the connections I was able to make through it and yeah. like the fun of social media. So I, yep. I, I really got, I got really, really invested into it. Um, and, and you've done a really good job. Yeah, now my, now that friend that made uh, me my Instagram, my first Instagram, he finished college, and now we're gonna do our channel together. You haven't posted in a really long time on your YouTube channel, right? Yeah, I like I have like thirty ideas with my Huracan, and yep. my Huracan blew up back in June, and I haven't been able to get that thing back together. Got you. So a lot of the content's around that, and that's just been keeping you busy, I guess. Yeah. I yeah, got you. I that just, makes sense. And skydiving. <laughs> skydiving. Yeah. I've been really getting into skydiving. Wow. Um, getting my license and like, there's like lots of licenses to go skydiving. Yeah, so. I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. I got my pilot's license a year ago and-, and Oh, sick. Would, there would always be issues um, heading into a certain airspace, Rochelle airspace. There'd always be skydivers every day, like all throughout the day. So you'd always have to watch out for these guys. Yeah, the parachute jump zones. Yes. Well, first of all, do you look at your YouTube channel as your career? I assume you do, right? No, I don't. No? No, what do you, not at all. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, not uh, at all. <laughs> well, if you haven't posted in a while, I guess <laughs> that's yeah. probably a good indicator. Yeah, no, I, yeah. I see it as like a like a hobby, if anything. Yeah. I, I cannot rely on that as like a form of income. I personally, yes. I cannot. It's like, yeah, it, it's that it, it, then it would be stressful. Like, it's for me, it's like, yeah. oh, I have a great idea. I'm gonna go shoot that instead yep. of instead of Keeping waking up every day and going like, oh, I gotta shoot something. I gotta come yeah. up with an idea. No, that's cool. And the great thing about our channel is we're not for profit. So like, I'm, I'm not about how can I make the most money? Right, right. Our right. channel loses plenty of money. Holy uh, shit, this thing is so loud. It's so loud. It just drones, dude. Where do you see the channel going in like one, three, five years? Like, is your goal to just keep keep growing it and growing it? So I know you mentioned you want really to Really, like, I, I see, I've like, I've, lo I've done a lot of analysis on social media, so yeah. I kind of know a decent amount of it by sure. now. And I really thought that I was going to lose my relevance like three years ago yeah uh, which hasn't happened like yeah. I, people no. people on social media are, are 
I see I see it as like you have two once you gain relevance you have two years to make sure. the best of it yeah. and then you're done um, that really hasn't happened to me that's good man and I think it's because mainly I don't do it as like a job yeah. so I'm not like oversaturating you know whatever I post and I think that's like the only reason why so I'm surprised by it how long it lasted so every day I'm like oh this YouTube thing is gonna come crashing down one day and yeah I'm going to do something stupid. I'm going to get canceled or, <laughs> or, uh, people are just going to stop caring. Uh, but it, it's just been going on and on and on and on. So if you could collaborate with one person, who would that be? Or just hang out. Like, uh, who's... Elon Musk. Elon Musk. Man, yes, dude. Yeah. He's it's in very, Texas It's a very now. cliche thing for anyone to say right now, but he, well, mo- like... I, most people don't think that big, honestly, because we've asked that question a bunch and usually it's, they just go right to YouTube influencers. So that's, that's surprisingly a different answer. That's I take this turn hard. Dude, do whatever the f- just don't kill me. <laughs> Holy fuck. Not bad. Oh, man. That's it's probably cold. one of three moments where I thought I was going to die on this channel. But nice job, dude. You fucking took it like a champ. It, there's so it. many canyon curvy roads on here. Like, Oh, this is the best place so to many drive. People, like, everyone that grew up in L.A. driving are just okay drivers. <laughs> um, who's been a big inspiration for you on your... Uh, along the way like like i've leaned on a lot of people for advice on on metrics and you know david dobrik has helped um nathan and speak let it brought up to you like has there been someone that gave you some really great information that you took and ran with it elon musk <laughs> well the great thing about it the dude doesn't care about money he like he lives in like he lives in the factory or he lives in this tiny house he's running a bunch of different like he doesn't seem like he cares about my mother income. too really like she, yeah. she's a very she's a very wealthy person and like yeah. the the way she puts herself off um it like the humbleness that a yeah. lot of people have, it's it's a being humble is like a great motivation for me. So yeah. anyone, any like anyone with like a lot, ton of money, yep. that doesn't try to act apart or the, like is like very inclusive. Yes. Um, yeah, I'm super turned a, off by that too. Ma- I just... Yeah, major motivation. Like, um, yeah, it's just like a lot of like people, like I, a lot of people I meet in LA with a ton of money, like you know, you they're too right, good to change right a tire right. for themselves. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah, it's. It drives me crazy. I'm exactly yeah. there with you. It's amazing how much access you just get to people by having a channel. Like hundred percent, hundred percent. Like, yeah. it, like, it's not just having a channel. If you yeah. like, just being relevant in one way or the yeah. other in Los yeah. Angeles. Agreed. As long as you have some sort of relevance, like you'll just know everyone. Yep. Who's who's been like your favorite person to just go meet and hang out with, even if it's not on camera? Recognizable person. A recognizable person? Yeah. I don't know. I was gonna say the guy behind me. The guy behind you. Yeah. He's Alex. Is a good dude. Alex. Um, recognizable person? Yeah. Probably Amelia. Okay. We used to hang out a lot. Um, yeah. But she's like just doing her acting thing now. But... Okay. Fair enough. If you were to start like a YouTube channel today, what would you like? You obviously you have to differentiate oh, man. yourself. People have it. People have it hard today. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. There's so many YouTubers out there. Like. Yes. A lot um, of TikTok really like sh- it showed people. Hey, everyone could be an influencer. Yes. You know, companies that make cameras, companies that make mics. Like, yep. if you go to Best Buy right now, you can, like, people advertise to influencers. That just shows you how many yes. influencers are out there. The fact that these companies are spending all this money to advertise to influencers. Yep. Like, like there must be a lot of influencers out there. But um, at some point, it's supply and demand where there's too many of them, and then only the strong survive at that point. And maybe yeah. it's like that now. I know I know it's really hard to grow a YouTube channel. That's, that's what I hear. We've had some some luck and some success with it um but i see a lot of the bigger guys that like there's guys with two million plus followers that are getting far less engagement than we get uh per video the old youtubers usually. yeah like because right. like i said going back to what i said you have two years yes once you get relevance you have two years and that's it uh, how many hours do you work a week on on youtube again i know you have is it working oh no, you're right yeah, yeah if you're enjoying it you're not working at all right i don't think it's work what other business endeavors do you do like how else do you drive make income not much i say this publicly too like yeah. my parents are very wealthy yeah. people so i kind of live off of them yep um a lot of people don't like that but but what, like what can I, you do what can you do about it right yeah like what I, are you gonna move like, out yeah i mean i've done a lot of small stuff here and there that's yep. like it's not like enough to make you rich so i don't i don't see it as like motivation for people um probably the most thing that's made me the most amount of money is probably my youtube channel yeah but i've had like a coffee i've owned a, i own a coffee shop i own like a i own just a bunch of small is there, is there anything that you want to do? Like, is there a business? This is a drag race road, by the way. Oh, nice. Yeah. Or where it's I was beautiful. thinking, but there's, look at all the traffic. Still too much traffic. Is there some business venture you want to start at some point? Like, is there something you've always wanted to do, but you know it'd be too much work or? Um, I've always wanted to build a car. 
All right. But like, there's a lot of jobs that I wanted to do, but like, they just don't pay. Like, I've always yep. wanted to be a commercial pilot. I've always wanted to be working the Navy. Cool. I've always been be in the Navy. I've always wanted to be a police officer. Um, but it's very time consuming at the same time. Yep. Um, so I'm actually trying to be a reserve officer right now. That's badass, my guy. My end game is to build a Kuiper car. Yep. Yeah. Oh, like, like like from scratch or like your yeah. own brand? Brand. Everything. Like so limited run of 10, 20, and they just smoked you, bro. Something like that. <laughs> All right, I got you. Well, that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, but like every car, I have such a unique taste in cars yeah. and how they're built. No hypercar company has ever created a car that I like that I like like a hundred percent like everything about it. You should so, go drive the Remac Navara. It looks like a Corvette, but it's probably the craziest car I've ever driven in my life. Uh, factory in Croatia. I, and, uh, I'm just saying. Now, not a fan. You've, you've seen the Remac. The crazy, like the crazy aspect of a car you get used to, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. no matter how crazy a car is, yes. it's like, you spent $3 million to be blown away for the first two weeks of driving it. You're right. But the craziness always, you get used to it. It's just, oh, like, immediately. All, it's just yeah. like all the features about a car, yes. you know what I mean? Like, well, once you drive a, like you, once you drive a really fast hyper, there, there's not even that two week period. It's like a day period. It's a day or two period. Like if you've driven a Bugatti, then anything slower yeah, the than that. Yeah, the speed doesn't turn me on anymore. Yeah. It's always like, agreed. it's everything else now. Except for the Remac. <laughs> I'm just like, that. that's the one Have that driven, stepped it up. Avoiding the sewer bike. Have you driven yes. um, like a fully built twin turbo Huracan? I have a that's probably the GTR, crazy. 2,150 horsepower GTR. Okay, so yeah, that's as fast as you're going to get on yeah. the street. Yep, and it's unstable at that speed. Like, I feel way more secure in my Bugatti. Um, that thing's nuts. Tunnel blast. Oh, shit, let's do it. <laughs> you're like, roll down windows. Commence window roll down. <laughs> Biggest insecurity though? I really couldn't put a pin on it. No. Um, yeah, I just went through a lot. <laughs> Lost a lot of people, like like friends died. I, when I was 12, I was diagnosed with a brain cancer, so I was, I was given six months left to live. I went through a lot, I really did. You've kind of just been through um, it all. And it's like, it's like really it's like douchey f for someone to say that. That's yeah. also like kind of spoiled, but at the same time, like I've been through a handful like of, of shit and that just, Yep, I, I think, think being through I what used you to be very it. insecure as like a 12, 13 year old. Sure. Uh, like, like, I was also really insecure of like my fear. I used to be a very like fearful person. Yes. I could never do anything. I could never drive fast. I could never. Well, go cl walk clearly off. that's gone. <laughs> yeah. yeah like, that fear is gone. Um. So I, I really like. I don't know. I, can, I can't think of an insecurity really. I just right. don't, like. I just I, don't care anymore. I, is this where the donuts are? According to my. All right, all right. That was so scary. <laughs> he's, Dude, he's a, me and he's Tommy, a brilliant driver. Me and Tommy were sitting in the car. We're like, Steve's definitely sh**ing himself. Oh my right god! Now. I need to go change my that's, bridges. That's and my drawers. so funny, dude. That was so scary. But you did a great job, dude. So like, I just need to quit being a. Thank this thing is you. amazingly planted. Yes. Yeah, I don't yes. Know. It's a little bouncy. Regular <laughs> PSI. Tires the we PSI. could we could lower the PSI. We should lower them for the track anyway. Yeah. Or the or there's too little damn thing. Alex, what are you on? <laughs> what? Were you guys keeping up? No. <laughs> we were trying. I'm at a 918 Wyzek. And he's like, are you okay? <laughs> oh, he's fine. He's, he's, he was f***ing hauling at the Miata. You do, they were keeping up better than we, we were. You your ass at I one point. I don't know the oh streets. Like, I, went that I thought I was going to die. The so whole time I. we were I driving. I went through that tunnel on my cruise. Part of me wants to sharp rip that thing right around. That thing was no, like no, way no. too much fun. I'm staying. Uh, that was so fun. We're stay I'm staying in the Miata that's with him. That's so fun. What's something that nobody else knows about you that's shocking? That's the first time I said, like, actually, about anything about my brain cancer publicly. Really? Yeah. I don't really care to share that story. It's not like I'm, I'm not like private about it, but I don't really care to like be like, I'm a brain cancer you survivor. I get it. I get it. You, yeah. Go fund me. In the heat of the moment, the, yeah, it just was relevant to the question. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'll take a raspberry filled, the one that you just grabbed. All right, when's the last time you were in jail? Uh, last time I got arrested, we weren't racing, but like we were like we were hauling ass through Wilshire, and my friend was behind me. And I, I was in my BMW and we yep. just took off at a light. And the cop pulled over my friend in the Range Rover behind me and let me go. Like, or didn't pull me over, so I kept going. Yeah. But then he was pulled over for like 30 minutes, so I was like a little concerned. So I 
came back, and as soon as I came back, the cop went, you sit down. Had me sitting on the cold curb for mm -hmm. an hour, then I went to jail. He got let go. He talked his way out of it, and I, oh, I was drove back. They, was he bait? Were they just holding him until you came back? I don't know. I went to court, and then they played the body cam video, and it turns out my friend blamed the entire thing on me. Is he still your friend? This is like four years ago. Yeah, we're, we're still friends. Um, you are still friends? Yeah, <laughs> but he was, he was like, I've been pulled over so many times. Uh -huh. I, don't, I don't really get nervous Same. or scared, but people like, get really, really nervous. Yeah. So he yeah. was visibly nervous. And I forgave him. I was like, I was like, you know what, you're, you're scared. You're he home. acted out of nerves, so I get it. Yeah, so, but he was like, I'm so sorry, officer. Like, he made me raise him. The jails in UCLA are not bad. The first, I went to jail twice. First time I went to jail, turned 18 in one month. Yep. And I went to a street takeover just to go like film it. And back then I didn't really realize like how terrible of a reputation takeovers had. So yep. I like, that was, I like wanted to post videos of takeovers on my uh, channel. I think I took my Hurricon, no, I took my Audi there. Yep. And then they just arrested like gotcha. 50 spectators along wow. with myself. The, 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 the sergeant came and like just organized like a whole sting operation. And I went to jail in like the, the most ghettoest part of Los Angeles. It was Oof. absolutely horrible. I had to share a cell with like four other hobos. For 22 hours, I was in, in, in oh, a, a tiny little jail for, with like three stinky ass hobos. <laughs> my biggest fear, my right? biggest fear is actually getting arrested now because of that. Because it's such a scarring experience actually. If you're asking me in security, it's like, that could I it. have nightmares about getting arrested. Holy I have bad dreams about getting arrested. It was one of the most scarring experiences. Probably. I got arrested. You guys know I got arrested once? Driving with a suspended license at age 18. But I didn't know I was driving with a suspended license. Illinois no used to suspend your license when you did not pass emissions. So I had sold my car. The guy never transferred it to his name. They don't do that anymore, but if you didn't pass emissions, they would suspend your license. R ridiculous. I didn't even know. So they cuffed me. I'm also like really claustrophobic. So like, my, it actually is a fear of mine to get arrested or to get stuck in an elevator. Like I will die. If one of those two things happen, I will lose my shit. Me too. Oh, no, not not claustrophobia. Actually, the second time I got arrested in UCLA, I was like, oh, this wasn't bad. Because I, got my, I, got, nice I got my own private suite. <laughs> and uh, the official donut ranking for that one is a 6 out of 10. Alex, how would you rank that donut out of 10, buddy? 10 being best. Uh, I love that guy, but that was negative 5. <laughs> <laughs> that averages out to a... Uh, one, uh, one, one. Point 0.5. Point 0.5. Point five. Right. Point five. Yes. Yeah. So we're going add them together, divide by two. Point five. What made you wanna do YouTube? Um, I think that what most people won't admit is is notoriety and having some clout. Like, there's that's a part of it. Right. The second part was getting like just getting access to other people and being able to meet other people. I just didn't think it worked as well as it does. So I was really surprised at how quickly wait, you, we were wait, able you to. You don't think it worked as well? As no, it does. It worked far better than I thought. Oh, I would, like I would have okay, never okay. have thought I could have hung out with someone like you after just a year of this. Um, and the other guys. So it's it's just pretty neat. Do you oh. mind if I share the moment that you said was your greatest and most fearful, or your when you said the Tesla jump? Can we share that or no? My, my, so my, yeah, sure we can. My, okay. my highest and my low Of all of your YouTube career. Was the Tesla jump, right? Was the Tesla jump and the Tesla jump. <laughs> both high and both low. I love it. Uh, I do have to admit it was, I do have to admit it was the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. It, same here. Um, I love it. And I, and I have a couple Tesla. I know you have a Plaid. I had the It was plaid. literally the greatest, like, I have, I still remember that entire day. Like, what I did that morning, what I had for lunch, <laughs> What I had for dinner, <laughs> it was where, kinda... like I remember that entire day. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Do your parents still watch your YouTube channel? Yeah, they do. Oh, cool. Yeah, they think it's. Does that worry you at all, or or do you get any flack from them about it? No, they my parents are very like you can go do whatever you want. That's good. Um, and it's great. I'm gonna raise my kids that way too. I, yeah. I, I They did not have any control over me, um, because at, again at, at age 12 I had the brain cancer thing. Yeah. So like, they kind of just let me be free yeah. uh, from at that age and they didn't really recover from it yeah um and it's great because i learned all my lessons the hard way uh, that's that's good so i i i would totally raise my kids that way too like yeah. just as long as they don't die <laughs> or get their arms chopped off oh, or, shit. or become right. paraplegic god forbid but like otherwise like like i learned a lot from just like meeting horrible people and getting yeah. myself injured you know yeah so, there we go. Nah, dude, I'm not even I scared. I'm not even scared anymore. I'm not even scared. What'd you say? I can sense your butthole clenching. No, I was surprisingly. Really? I was the least scared during that. Yeah, I think I'm. I'm now numb to it. Oh. Shit. This car has been the most tough car I've I've had. Like. Yeah. Anything VW makes. Yeah. You're, seriously. <laughs> He's race trying to race the Miata. He doesn't even see the force. There you go. <laughs> Oh, 
the truck doesn't even see the GT3 RS on the side of it. Uh, I would Check love a GT. Race. I would love the new GT3 RS. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's just like, like, how do I get one? <laughs> you can't get it for under a hundred, like a hundred k over MSRP. That's I've seen ridiculous. Some, it's stupid. I won't pay over MSRP for anything. Actually, I did it one time for the Koenigsegg Yesco. I will not pay over MSRP for anything else ever again. It's just like a weird, like even throughout the ownership of a car, like it's just a terrible feeling in your stomach. It is. Hangover MSRP. No, no car will really hold that. Maybe some hypercars, but no supercar will really hold that value. Oh, here we go. Is this the donut area right here? Do you want to do them around me? Sure. Am I, I'm not going to die? No. Just stay still? Just stay still, yeah. All right. Like, comment, subscribe in case I die, because I can't say that afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> and hit that notification button. <laughs> Well, I've, I, there was already the most scared I've ever been driving with anybody in my life. So let's let them do donuts around me. Let's do it. I was like moving because I didn't want to get hit and then he just said stay there so I stood oh you got the shot Dude. yeah yeah he said uh, stay there so I did and I almost shit myself yet again nicely done buddy thank you very much <laughs> appreciate you being on brother you are fucking talented my guy <laughs> that was more than three circles that was so <laughs> sick dude that was fucking awesome <laughs> this is going to be the most fair race possible with a 918 and a Miata because the Miata is a little over 200 horsepower and we're going to throw this in E mode, which is also a little over 200 horsepower. Genuinely have zero clue which car is going to win yeah. because this thing is still really fast in E mode. If you guys never seen a Fast and Furious 918, AIDS want to open the door. <laughs> oh yeah. We got, we got a Fast and Furious red. Underglow. Oh, it's on. It worked. Oh, do the rainbow. Wait, do the, do like the chasing rainbow. Do it. All right, here we go. I'll get on your, you want me to stay here? Yeah, left side. Please. You got it. Oh my god! It still wins! <laughs> oh, no way! This thing is so fast. I couldn't even hit the gas all the way down because it kicks the motor in. So, there's probably more that I could have sent it than that, right? Probably, because yeah, you were like easing into it to it not kick on the motor. It smoked him. That was hilarious. <laughs> that was badass. Hey, you look exhausted. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. no, dude, that was a great time. Yeah. Thanks for uh, thanks for having us out, dude. Yeah. Let's connect again sometime too, Probably brother. Sleep. <laughs> Sleeping thanks is good. Thanks for letting me drive this car, by the way. That was thanks good. for coming out, dude. Oh, thanks wow. for scaring me. <laughs> no, it was good, dude. We appreciate everything. You're a really good guy, man. Let's let's get together again sometime. If you're ever in Illinois, let us know.